Hello everyone, it's Moose, and welcome to this week's Freak Show. I'm sure you remember that Sean and I discussed that we were going to take turns doing the Freak Show this month, and we're going to be focusing on legends, stories, or tales that come from areas where we grew up. This week, mine will be focusing on the Mothman. Most of my family has resided in West Virginia for a significant amount of their lives, and I've been living here for the past 10 or 12 years and one thing that is a huge deal around here is Mothman. Um, I'm about an hour and a half from Point Pleasant where the main bulk of the Mothman lore is centered in the state. There's a lot of debate as to whether Mothman is real or not as well as within the community of people who believe that he's real what exactly he is. If he is an alien, or a cryptid, or some sort of harbinger of death, um, there's a lot of speculation. In order to make an educated assessment as to what you think he is, it's important to know a little bit of the background information. I do have a book with me that's going to help me get my point across a little bit better and help me get a little bit more information out. Um, it's called A Guide to Haunted West Virginia, and it is something that they sell in a local store, and I'm sure you can find it on the internet. Uh, it has a lot of different stories in it about haunted places within West Virginia, not just the big ones like the Lunatic Asylum and Mothman, but also some of the smaller ones that may not be as well known. As I said before, I'm going to be reading a little bit from the book and then discussing it. Over the years, there have been several sightings of Mothman, each of them varying slightly. But right now, I would like to read to you one of them. Um, Mothman was first seen on November 1st, 1966, when National Guardsmen at the Armory on Camp Connerly Road near Point Pleasant saw a large, brown, man-shaped figure on the limb of a nearby tree. On November 12th, five men who were digging a grave in Clendenin saw a brown human being that fluttered from the trees, maneuvered over their heads, and glided back into the trees. They all agreed that it looked like a man with wings. This is not something you would care to see while digging a grave. This is a very common description of Mothman. Um, a large creature who looks mostly like a man except for the wings and perhaps um, a more insect-like face. Um, another one, and it, this is the more popular story of um, the earlier experiences that people had with Mothman. On November 12, 1966, the night-lurking, eye-glowing, car-chasing Mothman made his debut to Roger Scarberry, Stephen Millette, and their wives. The two couples were driving through the TNT area, so-called because it served as an ammunition dump during World War II. Located about seven miles from Point Pleasant, the area is full of abandoned igloo-shaped concrete ammunition storage bunkers and crisscrossed by roads, overgrown with brush and second-growth trees. It's used for the locals for hunting. I can confirm. This place is absolutely what you would picture when someone says backwoods West Virginia. The most prominent thing is what stands now in the center of town, which is a Mothman statue that is very popular for tourists. Um, continuing the story, as the two couples came up to the abandoned power plant, Mothman rose up silently beside the road, red eyes glowing, wings folded against his back. Scarberry floored it and tried to get out of the area as fast as he could. To the couple's dismay, the creature went airborne and chased the car. It managed to keep up with the car without flapping its wings. One of the women said that it squeaked like a mouse. This set off a wave of sightings in West Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. One thing that's interesting about Mothman to me is that um, while many people state that the sighting started in Point Pleasant in West Virginia, he's been sighted in many of the surrounding states. And there are several different versions of the story that I just read. Uh, they all pretty much amount to the same thing. 
with slight variances in um, information as to what he looks like, the way he moved, where he came from. As I said, there are several uh, different ways that Mothman is perceived. One of them being a harbinger of death, and that is because the Native Americans saw birds as bringers of death or symbols of um, oncoming death, which is why a lot of people may find Mothman to be, you know, something to be scared of. Whether or not you believe in Mothman and believe in cryptids themselves, as Mothman is often referred to as a cryptid, um, that's a choice that you have to make and something that maybe one day you could go looking for and see if maybe you could find Mothman if you're ever in this neck of the woods. I'd love to know. Maybe we could go Mothman hunt together. <laughs> I know this was a bit different from the freak shows that you all are used to with Sean. I usually take a bit more of a lighthearted approach to my videos. And I hope that this was somewhat interesting for you. And I hope that it makes you want to maybe get a little bit deeper into the lore of Mothman to see exactly what you think that he is. I would love to hear in the comments your opinions and thoughts about cryptids, about Mothman, uh, and maybe if there is a specific thing within West Virginia that you would like me to do for next week. I do have something sort of planned, but if someone suggests something different that I think may be a little bit better, I will definitely take that into consideration. And I hope that you guys enjoy this. Stay spooky.